Hi, this is Charlie from Path of the Bee. In this video, I'm going to show you how to build a bottom board for a beehive. Okay, so here's my cut list. I'll show more of this at the end. Okay, so I have everything assembled here that I need to build a bottom board. I have my two pieces, three quarters by three and a half, 22 inches long, two pieces, three quarters thick, two inches wide, 22 inches long, three quarters inch by three quarters inch by 14 and three quarters. And then here I have a piece of three quarter inch plywood, 13, 14 and three quarters by 22 inches or enough three quarters inch lumber to do the same thing. I have a hammer, um, a screw gun, a marking gauge. It's kind of an optional tool, but I really prefer it. I have some inch and a quarter screws. I have some inch and five eighths screws. I have inch and three eighths drywall nails, and then I have some six penny nails. The first thing that I do is I start out by screwing down the uh, two inch strip, the two inch wide strip onto the three and a half inch wide strip with some inch and a quarter screws. The next thing I do is install my bottom piece. Now, I'm going to use the plywood. It's nice. It's one solid sheet. Go in here. I would use the six penny nails and nail down through into the rim. I prefer to use the pine because it's all lumber that I cut myself. <clears throat> How I do it with the pine is I go ahead and nail it, the wide pieces, each flush on the end, and then I fill in the center with the last piece. Okay, the next step is I use my marking gauge. Mine has a pin in it, some of them have a pencil. Um, and what I use it for is to, here I want to put screws in through the outside into the, into the boards we just nailed in. So I have the pin set up exactly in the center of that board that we just nailed in. And I can just scribe a mark of where I want my screws. I use the inch and five eighth screws to go in from the outside. Okay, and then the last thing that I do is I take my three quarter by three quarter strip and going to nail it in here in the back. The reason I use these inch and three-eighths drywall screws or nails is so they won't poke through. They almost go all the way through um, but they don't so I can reach under here when I'm moving my hive if I need to and, and not get poked. Okay, there you have it, a, uh, a bottom board with the proper three quarters of an inch B space underneath the comb, um, ready to go. Needs a good coat of paint, two or three, this is on the ground, do our best to 
preserve it for longevity. I've been using these bottom boards for nine years and have had excellent luck with them. All right, so I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have questions, comments, or suggestions on how I may improve my design on a solid bottom board, please leave them in the comment section below. Thanks for watching. I hope that you enjoyed.